Here we are, all because two people fell in love. The second I got home from our first date, I thought to myself, and definitely asked all my friends, how I was going to get this guy to fall in love with me. <laughs> because I knew in my heart, I had just gone on my last first date. And as cliche as it might sound, I knew I was going to marry you. Through the last three and a half years, we've gone through our ups and downs, but now being here with you, I couldn't imagine doing this journey with anyone else. Sarah, you are the one I want to spend the rest of my life with, my best friend, my partner in crime. I don't know where I'd be without you in my life. Thomas, you embody the scripture of love is patient and love is kind, something I hadn't witnessed in a long time. I can't wait to continue this journey through life with you by my side as husband and wife. You love hard, you fight fair, and you always forgive easy, never keeping score. You are the man of my dreams. Our life together has been, is, and will always be beautiful, and therefore my vows to you are simple. I promise to love you even when LSU loses to Alabama, <laughs> because you often make it really tough. I promise not to take it out on you if LSU loses to Alabama. I promise to choose you every day, always remembering that we're on the same team. I promise to always put you first, to love you endlessly through good times and bad, and sickness and health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I promise you will never walk alone, even if we're miles apart. And I promise to weather every storm with you because the sunshine will always be worth it. I promise to always be there for you, through all the highs and lows of life, to be your best friend, your person. I will always love you, even during times when you are hard to love. I'm glad that God's choice for me was you, and I will never stop praising Him for this day. You are my better half and my best friend. Together, we are stronger and can accomplish anything. I can't wait to officially call you my wife and begin our adventure of life together. I've always said to know you is to truly know adventure, and I've never been more excited to take on our biggest adventure yet. I love you. I love you. Thomas and Sarah, you have come before God and these witnesses today to express your desire to be husband and wife. By the clasping of hands, by the reciting of vows, by the exchanging of rings, you have shown your love and devotion to each other. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no person separate. I've been practicing this. So, Thomas, go Tigers, and you may kiss your bride. <laughs> God already knew that you guys were going to be here together. I mean, you are each other's other half. All of these people love you guys and they support you and they're thrilled to share this day with you. Cheers to the Harrisons. Yeah!